Microsoft Word, saving your documents to either a cloud location or to your local machine. As you can see, I've started a document, and on the top up here, it's called Document 1 by default. And that's because I haven't saved this document yet. You can see autosave is off because this is not a cloud document yet. It's not saved to my OneDrive or to SharePoint Online. If I click here to save, what's going to happen is it's going to automatically try to save this document to my OneDrive. I'm going to name this file. We can see the file extension is .docx, and this is where I can choose a location. You'll notice that when I clicked save, this automatically popped up. Now I'm going to choose OneDrive Learning. What it would read is OneDrive dash your organization's name. Mine happens to be called Learning. And if I click here, I could save it to my OneDrive Personal. But if it's for work, I want it to be this one. I can also save it to my documents or other groups or teams that I'm a member of. I can choose more locations. And from here, I can choose any folder I'd like including SharePoint sites, which would be teams or groups that you're a member of. I can also save to this PC if I'd like to, navigate out, and save that document. I'm going to go back, save my document. I'm going to call it Save Document Practice, and I am going to save it to my organization's OneDrive. I'm just going to click Save. When I do that, it's uploading this document to the cloud, where I can even click here, change the name of that document, change the location, and check out version history. Also, you'll notice this save button has changed to a sync button. It's still save, but really what it does is syncs the document that now lives on OneDrive. If I don't want to keep syncing manually, I can turn on autosave. And what that means is anytime I make a change to this document, it's going to autosave it to that cloud location. Without saving a document to the cloud, you can't do autosave. So again, if I create a new document and I've entered text and I'm ready to save it, I don't want to call it document2. I'm going to click save. It automatically tries to save it to my OneDrive. Now again, I can click and I could save it to a different location. Ideally, you would want to save your document to either your organization's OneDrive, SharePoint, or a group or team that you're a member of because then you can collaborate with other people and you have anywhere access.